I hear this new CO they sent over from HQ is a real featherweight. Ah, uh, he's probably some desk jockey. Never been up in a brain in his life. Ken, hey! Hey! All right, you pitiful submit and sad sacks, eyes front and listen up. I'm your commanding officer, General Knowledge. And it's my job to turn you mealy mouth meatheads into a crack squadron of cranium commandos. Your job, if you can cut it, will be to run the most sophisticated information system ever devised, the human brain. You, there in the back, suck in that gun and wipe that smile off your face. The brain is serious business. Now listen up, you miserable toads. This is your brain. You will eat with it, sleep with it. You will never leave it. Without you, the brain is nothing. Without your brain, you are nothing. It took three billion years of research and development to make this lean, mean thinking machine what it is today. In those years, we've had some successes and some failures. 
And if you meatballs can't fly right, you'll wind up piloting one of these. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. It's better. A brain is divided into two halves, the right and the left. Pardon me, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you! Uh, me, sir? No, your mama. Yes, you. Get up here on the double. Move it over. Move it. What's your name, recruit? Buzzy, sir. You think you're ready to pilot a brain, Fuzzy? That's Buzzy, sir. Oh, yes, you just let me Why in my control do panel. you know that the brain can process up to three million bytes of information per second? Uh, why, you see, I sir. don't think you've got this much a lot of dim bulb, freak uh, I don't you think you sir. understand the amount of concentration and commitment it takes to run this lovely unit. Just look at you. You're a disgrace. Does your mother still dress you, boy? Well, yes, sir. Don't talk when I'm shouting. Drop and give me 20. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. The brain is divided into two halves. Your left brain handles the linear thinking, analysis, logic. The right brain is the creative center, home of the emotions and imagination. From the command seat here in the cortex, you'll run the whole shebang. Any questions? No? Good. All right, you chickens, this is it. Let's scramble on the double. Move it. No, I know that. What now, Scuzzy? Taking a nap? Get your fanny and gear and hustle. Sir. Yes, sir. But if you moved any slower, you'd be going backwards. Putting you in a chicken is cruelty to animals. I'm gonna stick you in a squid, a lungfish, a talk show host. Now get in line. Move it, move it, move it. Two, one. Here's your assignment, so listen up. Sito. Sir. You do a rocket scientist. Ha. Sito, if your brains were dynamite, you couldn't blow your nose. Take off. Sir, thank you, sir. Trousdale, can you walk and chew gum at the same time? Never tried, sir. I'd like to know how HQ picked you for this job, Trousdale, with a dartboard. That's your NFL old pro running back over there. Now get out of my sight. Sir, thank you, sir. Uh, General Knowledge, sir, mm. you didn't give me an assignment yet, sir. Oh, no, this has got to be a sick joke. So, Goldbrick, you want to pilot a brain, huh? Yes, sir. Hello. Hey. Well, some genius at HQ has picked you to pilot the most unstable craft in the fleet. You, you don't mean... You guessed it, Stinky. An adolescent boy. This particular model is 12 years old. Very unpredictable. Don't worry, sir. I can hang... <laughs> don't worry, sir. I can... I can handle it. You couldn't find your head with both hands and a flashlight. Sweet. Yonder, where do they get these knuckleheads? Why do they always wind up in my outfit? Roger, 12-year-old, all clear for takeoff on Delta 1-9 or Tango. Clear over. Hey, Goldbrick, what's the matter? Hey, you gold bricks, this ain't a spectator sport. Where do you think you are, Disney World? Get your strollers in line and hustle on the double. Move it, move it, move it. All right, recruits, let's pick a row and move all the way to the end. Let's go. Move along. Are you waiting for your mamas to seat you? Walk swiftly. Do not run. Move it. Let's try not to look like a bunch of tourists. Squeeze all the way in, people. All the way to the end. And I don't want to see any open spaces. This isn't rocket science. That's better. Good. Now you've got it. We may make cranium commandos out of you yet. Now listen up. This training exercise will require your utmost attention and concentration. Therefore, distractions must be kept to a minimum. Understood? There will be no flash photography or videotaping. And no smoking in here. Got it? And absolutely no drinking or eating either. That is all, recruits. At ease! Gee, it sure is dark in here. There's got to be a light around here somewhere. Oh, this ought to do it. Whoa! All right, Pinhead, listen up. Your job is to pilot this craft through a typical day's maneuvers without overstressing it. Remember, use your head, don't lose your head. 
I've got my eye on you, Fuzzy. Screw up this mission and you'll be piloting a chicken till your retirement day. Got that? Uh, yes, sir. Guess I better get this show on the road. Okay, crew, report in. Left brain, right brain. Uh, come in, please. Yes, Captain. Did you call? Uh, no. I guess I just pressed the wrong button. It figures. No one ever wants to talk to me. Who are you, anyway? I'm only the hypothalamus. I only monitor all the automatic functions of the body. All the things you don't need to worry about. I'm used to being taken for granted. Blink, blink, breathe, breathe. Day in, day out. Never a thank you, never a job well done. Gee, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Hey, wait a minute. What are all these things? Dream, sir. You're in the sleep mode. You should have had this in class. Hmm. This looks pretty simple. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? What's happening? Whoa, oh, the alarm clock. Eyes, find the clock. Arms, hands, hit it. Ah. <sighs> Well, I guess we're awake now, huh? Good morning, guys. Morning, Captain. Left brain reporting for duty, sir. Logic circuit's working at full capacity. Let's have a safe and sane day, shall we? Uh, Roger, left brain. Right brain here, Buzz. Free association and creativity banks fully charged. Roger, dude. Hard reporting, Captain. Left ventricle. recording. Right ventricle. recording. We are yeah. off <laughs> and pumping. Adrenal glands reporting, Captain. Ready to freak out at any second. Not now, please. Stomach reporting, Captain. We're running on empty down here. Supposed to get tossed down some of those cold pizza crusts from last night. Keep us, you know. Mommy, aren't you up yet? The bus will be here any second. Okay, Mom, I'm up. Okay, guys, we're running a little late. Legs, swing over 45 degrees and extend pads. Head for the door. Walk back to 10. Going to school start naked, are we? Please. Whoa, quick, let's find some clothes. There's got to be something in here. Uh, sure, still okay. It's only been a couple days. All right, we're out of here. Aren't we forgetting some bunch? Uh, illumination. Give me a reading. Uh, ladder reading at 9.9, .9, sir. We can hold it. Full speed no, ahead. No, no. I can see you're going to put us all under a bit of a strain. Captain, I know we're in a hurry, but this puppy's starting to growl down here. You know what I mean? I hear you, stomach. Looks like we've got breakfast dead ahead. Let's chow down. Buzz! Let's go for the dessert! Hey, Smarty Pants. Bus is here. I could have swore I heard something about breakfast. The bus! Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, God! 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 Whoa! Mommy, look at what's wrong! Whoa! Hey, kid! Get off my car! He's getting away! Quick! Take a shortcut! Planning an alternate route to school, sir. Memory indicates the presence of a small rabbit poodle. Whoa! Watch out! Back up! Boy, shake it! Stop on it! Stop on it! Quick! Father Balding, Captain, we are popping. Yeah, but we are running low on energy. What are you going to do about it? Stomach, we need fuel. Do you read? No can do, Captain. Remember that breakfast we didn't have? Blood sugar is falling. You have exactly two seconds to get the class. Come to the right. Turn. Oh, there's your desk. Okay, my little monsters, let's create. Excuse me. Looks like we're going to be lab partners. Yes. I'm the party captain, we have just skipped the beat. Yeah, what is going on up there? She's beautiful. Um, I'm new here. My name's Danny. What's yours? Uh, say something. B-b-b-beautiful. I mean, Bobby! Flash factor 6.5, Captain. Okay, Bobby. I'll measure you minutes. Careful. Careful. Some of these compounds are not entirely stable. I feel like an unstable compound whenever we look at her. This must be chemistry. Concentrate. This could be dangerous. Just imagine. Make my wish come true. Bobby, watch out! Whoa! Man, get out of there! Hey, stop it! Stop it! Oh! See? You put us in an explosive situation. I've never had to work this hard in my life. Yeah, what a loser captain we have. Yeah, you're a pathetic girly man. You're a girly man, loser and pathetic. Say that, Captain, I'd be willing to call it even if we could just toss a little bit of food into the old dumpster. What do you say? Okay, stomach, this time we'll eat. I promise. Hi. Wow, look, there she is. Oh, hi. 
Hey, look, Chad. It's the new girl. That she needs some company, huh, Rico? Come on, you guys. We gotta help her. We'll rescue her. We'll swing it on a vine. Take her to a desert island. Nonsense. We'll simply explain to these ruffians the lasting negative ramifications of their delinquent behavioral tendencies. Okay, you take the helmet, Brain. All right, Bonnie, address them. <clears throat> Come now, gentlemen. I'm sure I needn't point out the negative impact of both social and academic dimensions of your Neanderthal tactics. <laughs> body from unnecessary stress. Not send it into a coma. Well, the left brain wanted, but then the general glance said, and You the... can't just listen to every fool thing that comes into your head. That's why there's chaos in this body. Make decisions. Get this crew working together. You're just begging to pilot this chicken, aren't you, boy? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I'm warning you, Skunky. I've got to get my act together here. Okay, I'll do better. I'll use my head. He'll be proud of me. All right. Hands, wipe the eyes, please. Well, young man, perhaps a trip to the principal's office will straighten you out. Lose audio, I get the idea. We're gonna get the salt mines, I tell ya! The part, the big house, maybe even prison! Six weeks detention. Out! Six weeks? Oh, no. It'll be a tenant. How about a last meal? Uh, it's kind of traditional. Right. And what's your side of it? A stall for time. Shuffle feet. A uh, ring hand. We'll probably be put on suspension for this. We can kiss Harvard goodbye. No job. No upwardly mobile lifestyle. I hope you're proud of yourself, young man. You obviously have no need for logic whatsoever. Thank you so much. And good night. Lungs reporting, sir. We're hyperventilating. Back down the front, you two. I recommend a brown paper bag. CO2 is dropping fast. Oh, I'm feeling really lightheaded, man. Listen to us now and believe us later. If we were 30 years older, we'd be attacking you right now. Yeah, if we lived that long. <laughs> Sorry, Captain. We can't take much more of this. I'm gonna have to send some back up. No, don't! Stay all exit! Stay all exit! What in blazes are you up to now? I might as well say goodbye now, sir. They're gonna burn us at the stake and send our ashes to Siberia. Nonsense, Pinky. You're just worrying yourself sick. Real stress or imagined stress, it doesn't matter beans to your body crew. They can't tell the difference. Only you can. Take charge, lunkhead. Be calm, cool, collected, serene, balanced, centered, and relaxed like me. Now hear me! Yeah! Quiet! Look, guys, this isn't the end of the world, okay? Now let's cooperate for once. Left brain? Yes, sir. Give me the bottom line. Logical. Right brain? Do what you really feel. I've got a solution that covers both. We're going to tell the truth. I I'm sorry, Mr. Hardcase. When I saw those guys bugging Annie, I, I guess I just lost my head. I think we can be a little lenient here. Why don't you just help the janitor clean up the cafeteria after school? Really? Boy, oh, thank right. you, sir. Thanks a lot. Right, right, right. Now get out of here. <laughs> well done, Buzzy. Wonderfully logical. You felt the moment it was beautiful. Yeah, we're starting to get the hang of it now. Well, with a little teamwork, we'll become invincible. Warning, warning, we've been tapped on the shoulder. Warning, warning. It's the goons! 
A general, would you chill out? Oh, You're getting everybody all worked up. Just keep cool, guys, and stand by for instructions. Come full about. Hi, Bobby. <sighs> Look, um, I just wanted to thank you for helping me out with those guys who were hassling me. No sweat. No sweat. They were, like, pretty neat. Gosh, he likes us. Captain, we are having a sudden burst of energy. Yeah, we are feeling young at heart. Hey, who ordered the butterflies? Man, she's cute. Just look at the way her eyes glisten in that fluorescent tube light. Well, let's not start daydreaming again. Let's do something constructive. Tell you what, we'll ask her out. Bold move, sir. Maybe we could go out sometime after school, like maybe to the mall or something. Okay, that'd be great. Thanks again, Bobby. Yahoo! Outstanding recruit! Look after your body crew and they'll serve you well! Congratulations! You are now a full-fledged member of the Cranium Command! I'm proud of you, boy! Thanks, General! I never could have done it without everyone's help! This is one first-rate crew! No need to thank me, sir. I don't do it for the glory. It's just my function. Well, Chicken, what are we gonna do about a pilot for you? Uh, I won't need one! I'm going into politics! In politics? So long, Buzzy! Keep up the good work! Let's hear it for Captain Buzzy! Hip 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 hooray! So remember, gang, if you get stressed out, just call in your general knowledge. Balance your body crew and get your cranium under command. Use your head, don't lose your head. It's easy. You'll be flying in no time. As a member of the cranium command! Bye! On behalf of the cranium commander from the Walt Disney, Thank you for volunteering for Cranium Command. Please gather your belongings and exit the command center through the doors on your left. Madam, you forgot your child. Oh, that's your husband? I'm very sorry. I mean that. Have a wonderful day. happens to everyone. One day, you're walking down the street, and you think to yourself, where did I come from? How did I get here? What's it like being born? Me? I started here. Not now. 60 years ago, actually. Now, I know this sounds truly remarkable, but... That's my dad. <laughs> well, we'll be. Everyone's pretty excited. I know I am. Of course, no one sees me. I'm a long way from heaven. Long way. In fact, my mother hasn't even been born yet. Uh-oh. 
That's my mom. Or at least she's gonna be. Of course, there's a lot that has to happen before then. She's gotta go to school. Hi, Grandma. Gotta meet my dad. She's gotta be sent to a room. saying before oh yeah ab about growing up very important for people who want to have babies because most of the baby making equipment doesn't begin to work until you mature I heard that <laughs> I mentioned baby making equipment and a couple of you snickered that's okay I'm used to it mention anything having to do with making babies and someone's gonna snicker Mention anything having to do with the parts of the body you use to make babies, and someone is going to snicker. But wait a second, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we can talk about baby making or body parts or any of that, we have to talk about people. You probably noticed by now that people come in two basic types, male people and female people. And even though males and females are absolutely equal, they're different, biologically different. Inside the woman's body are tiny egg cells. Inside the man's are sperm cells. Now, when the sperm and the egg join together, a special cell is formed. One special cell can make a baby. But I'm getting ahead of myself again. <laughs> Can't very well get a sperm and an egg together to make a cell if the man carrying the sperm and the woman carrying the egg haven't even met yet. But of course, who knows, maybe by now, Mom and Dad have actually run into each other. There's my mom, but who's that guy? Mom and Dad have met, 
Mom and Dad have married, and now Mom and Dad want to have a baby. Huh? Wait a second. You don't? <laughs> Rather do this and have me? You mean they'd rather do this than have me? Probably wondering what I'm doing up here instead of down there. Remember the sperm we said my dad had and the egg we said my mom had? Well, getting the sperm and the egg together is one of the great miracles of life. It's also one of those things that people like to do in private. I mean, most people don't even like to talk about it. It makes them nervous. Some people laugh. Others tell jokes. Lots of people just avoid the subject altogether. But the truth is, when two people are in love, one of the loveliest things they can do is be as close together as possible. They might kiss, they might hug. Another way that mature adults express their love for each other is to get so close that the man's sperm actually enters the woman's body. How this happens is, is truly one of the great, grand secrets we share as human beings. In fact, the first time it's explained to us, it always seems incredible or unbelievable. But believe it or not, all of us, everyone who's ever been born, came into being because their parents made love, allowing the sperm and the egg to meet. Everyone, that is, except me. I mean, I haven't been born yet. <laughs> have I? Or have I? in the looks department yet, but hey, I'm only 30 days old and a fifth of an inch long. Hey, what's going on? An earthquake? Oh, I get it. They're just getting the good news about me. It, easy, Pop. That's precious cargo you're wrestling with. Check out the arms. Five months old, half an inch long. We're making progress. 
Wait a second. What's that? Smoke? My mom wouldn't smoke while she was pregnant with me. Would she? She's got enough smoking, drinking, taking drugs. Those are all bad for little sprites like me. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. It's been six months, and that's a long time with nothing to do. But now, for the first time, I can hear your voice, Mom. <laughs> Sorry about the kick, Mom, but I'm starting to go a little crazy in here. I've been in the womb for seven months, and today, I opened my eyes. The game to turn over today. Getting ready for something. Something. Everyone. One day you're walking down the street and you think to yourself, where did I come from? How did I get here? What's it like being born? Me? I'm going to start here. Not now. About 30 years from now, actually. That's my father. Or will be. may be unsuitable for a serious audience. This performance may include laughter, nonsense, slapstick, and adult actors engaged in utter silliness that some may find hilarious. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay. 
case for Judge Bartek. Today's case, Zirconia Foonman versus Herstuck. Litigants, members of the jury must be sworn in. Everybody, please, put your right hands up. Put your right hands out. Put your right hands in and you shake them all out. You do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. And pull the door. Hey, what does that have to do with anything? Nothing, it's just a little hanky-panky with the hokey pokey, okey dokey. <laughs> That's what it's all about. All right, now, who is suing who? Your Honor, I'm doing it. Your Honor, may I be frank? Yes. Uh, we have an amazing person, yes, a person who proves again the theorem, fish is brain food. Or is that fish for brain and fish food? Nonetheless, this man is going to offer you a sound to unfairly send you into orbit with his amazing talent to identify objects while blindfolded. So without any further ado, would you please help me welcome the man who needs no introduction? Which of course no one knows who he is anyway. Would you please help me welcome Mr. Swami River? Back 
Captain's log, two date one point nine seven. The bicuspid has just entered the strange mouth of the bizarre species known as the young man in the front row. <laughs> Open the cold gate. Actually, <laughs> hello, young man. Don't be afraid. I'm a dentist. <laughs> your mouth is going to represent every child's mouth in the galaxy. What's your name, sir? Ryan, on the count of three, we want you to open your mouth and say, ah. Everyone, count it together. One, two, three. Oh, my sister, if you do the fact that you part of the Ryan's feet, the usual cabbage, chips, cargo corn, and other Klingons. All right, crew, we're not going to leave this kid's mouth until it's clean and minty fresh. Coming message, Captain. Commander Warlock. This is Prince Gingivitis. I command you to give up your ship. Gingivitis, he's the overlord of gum disease. Oh, he's got the worst breath in the galaxy. Captain, I think we've built up more than we can chew. <laughs> what do we do now, X-rays? No time for that, Frank. Everyone, put your fingers up. Fingers spinning. We're going to wrap imaginary Disney dental floss around our fingers and prepare to floss. I floss!
die. It's going to take all the power we have left. Here we go. The cerebral cortex, we're inside the brain. We have to cross the blood brain barrier. Get us inside. Here we go.